Hi guys, we just have Champs gas caps out of the Rustico and out of the Gibbs. So nice and clean inside. Any newer than this, and they'd be new old stock. They're just wow. You know, little scratches and all that, they'd come out unbelievable. So you put them in the citrus cleaner, get all the old gas out of it, put them in the Rustico. I showed you right out of the, before when we just got it out of the citrus. Put them in the Rustico to get out the uh, what little rust was in there. Now we're going to go ahead and a uh, little luck put on the leather washers that Old Bill is nice enough to remake for us. And you have to be kind of careful and kind of bend the washer itself in half. Don't bend that. You'll fuck up your gas cap, you'll never fix it, and that's the end of that. These are hard to find and expensive. So, that's one. You definitely have to have needle nose pliers to do this. You'll never do it by hand. Not ever. Uh, well, if you got bear claws for fingernails, maybe you can, but I can't. There's always somebody. Okay, there we go. That's on. Now, as old dude says, you gotta put oil on them. So I use Marble Mist Oil, which is light oil. It's a little heavier than Gibbs, in case you're wondering why I'm not using Gibbs. Gibbs is not really an oil. This is just a light oil. And the, without this, they stick. They go on and off, and all of a sudden you can't get, get your gas cap off. <laughs> it's like, whoops. I asked him, I said, what's wrong? He said, you put oil on? I said, what kind of oil? He says, any oil. I said, oh. So this is working fine. So, we're gonna put the caps on stamp here. Bring it around. Uh, I lined up the bikes for a reason. You can see old blue there. And you can see baby. And you can see champ. And I didn't wax old blue. I'm assuming Bob, the man I got it from, waxed it. But I just waxed some of champ. I didn't even buff it out at all. So nice champ is. I just put a little wax on the right side of baby's tank. And paint fades differently under different conditions. But you can see how close in color baby's red tank is to champ's, as we know, flight red, original flight red. So I stand behind what I'm saying. I wasn't there in 46, but neither was any of the other guys watching this. And I really think at this point, the oral history I have is correct. This was a fresh off the floor dealer repaint at that time. And uh, we'll never know for sure whether the red paint was applied at Harley or the dealer did it because he got a blue and the guy wanted a red. But it was certainly done right about the time it was sold. So it was most likely a dealer repaint. If it was just a little thinner, and especially if it matched identical to this car, I'd be convinced it was like, hey man, it's a red bike and the guy put the panels on it. But I'm not going to go so far as to say that. Maybe it is, and maybe it ain't. Don't know. But in my opinion, it's just a little bit too thick for what I've seen a party paint. That measures out everywhere at six to six and a half, except for the repair on the front fender. Harley paint generally is about 2.8 to 3.8 unless you've uh, got too thick in this area, too thick in that area, which happens. It'll go up like 4.5 to maybe 5 and only like in a little area out of the whole bike. This is real even 6 to 6.5, so I'm pretty sure that was done by the dealer because the guy wanted his custom paint. But look how close the coloring is. It's just pretty wow. So, there it is. There's Champ's caps back in place for when we get to her. So the caps are done. I'm letting everything soak still. And uh, this will probably be the last Champ video until we get moved. Unless I just get, okay, there's nothing going on. And I'll get a wild hair on my butt and clean more up on the bike. And we'll make a video of it. 
Other than that, we'll see you on the next video. I will be posting some 48 uh, uh, literature here in just a minute, invoices, just to get them up while we have a little time before the big move happens, because once the move happens, who knows when I'll be able to do more videos. So, see you guys soon.